<laughs> That's probably louder than Caleb thought. But this leads into an important segment called how do you deal with frustration? Because listen, well, like that arrow, that arrow, uh, Chad Mendez's arrow up there. <laughs> Everybody's had it, right? I had it, and trust me, frustration with archery and frustration at an event where everybody's there, well, that's even a different level. That's the worst. Um, there's good ways to deal with it, and there's not so good ways to deal with it. Let me tell you one of my stories. So I was at an event, and I was a pro, a young pro. I was a rookie. And my first tournaments, things were going good, things were going good, but I started to feel the pressure. I started to just feel that tightening around my neck. And I was trying too hard, and I was aiming and not pulling. So I was just static. I was trying to be so still and hit the middle so hard that all I did was freeze everything, and I was very dynamic. We're Compound bows, they like, are very static. Compound bows like you being dynamic. They like you pulling against it and pulling through it. That's what they like. And they shoot tighter when you do that. When you wait and when you freeze and when you, when you collapse and when you lock and when you freeze under the target and you just wait and wait, it doesn't like that. And when that starts happening and one of these happen, there's just nothing more frustrating, right? And so I had one of those weekends as a pro, and the only thing I could think of that would make me feel better was grabbing that 30-inch stabilizer and hammer tossing my bow through the woods. Felt pretty good at the time, but I looked like a real rage quitting idiot. And I had an important coach grab me and pull me to the side and he said, listen, your ability to be better at this sport than others is only gonna happen once you recognize the fact that the only arrows that you can still control are the ones that are gonna be still in your quiver. And what he said was, I have never figured out a way, nor is anyone else, that no matter how mad I get, down on my shooting line or how mad I get anywhere, there's nothing that can pull this arrow back and rewind it and bring it through the bow and back into that quiver to where I can have it back. That is a fact of history. So the secret to dealing with frustration, whether you're on a hunt, whether you're at an event, the secret is not letting the ones that have got away affect that the ones that haven't even been shot yet. I'll tell you a story about a time where I went to Alberta and it was actually when I moved here to Iowa for the first time. I went to Alberta for a hunt and at first I wasn't gonna go but I had booked it. I moved here, we were barely unpacking and I kinda got this call like, are you still coming? And I realized, oh my gosh, Okay, I had forgot through the chaos of moving what day it was. So I went and first day, Todd had scouted this muley buck, made this perfect stalk, got into 38 yards, miss. And he just looked at me like, what was that? And I just said, I don't know, man. So next day we went out again another miss third time a third miss and it was at that point where I realized and the frustration kept compounding on itself it's then when I realized I can't let yesterday's miss the other miss affect what's happening I need to just go and reset so I went and started focusing on the quiver that was still full versus having the empty one where I'd been missing. So you have to learn to focus on the ones that you haven't shot yet. Visualize your shot process 
and just recognize the fact that you are capable of making a good shot at any time. But when you overthink it and you focus on the outcome more than the process, then what happens is you end up just becoming static and you freeze and you feel the frustration and you let it affect the arrow that hasn't even been shot yet. What you need to do is have a funny conversation with these arrows that are still in your quiver and just say, all right, well, we know Mr. Bloody right here doesn't want to freaking shoot in the middle. So you know what? You take a time out and get back there. Do any of you two want to freaking hit the middle? Cause let's party. And when you face it with that type of attitude, then good things are going to happen. Frustration is part of every sport. There's times where you're doing great and there's times where you just all of a sudden fall off the map. But I can tell you, if you focus on what you're doing from a shot process point of view, make a joke of that arrow that wanted to freaking go down there and you know shoot someone's wall or someone's door like Jim Miller did to me, that's cool. Laugh about it. It's good for a joke. Create a hashtag for that arrow. You're never coming back. And focus on the good ones that you still have in the quiver, and they'll go in the middle for you.